All right, we're back with more of our special series, Design Your Life, where we're exploring DIY projects that are so easy you will actually try them. Kevin O'Connor is the host of the Emmy-winning This Old House and Ask This Old House. He's here with ideas that will take an hour, a day, and a weekend. Hey, Kevin, good to see you. Good to see you again. Why do I get the feeling the one that's supposed to take an hour is still going to take me a weekend? It will not. This you will promise? Take, we have tested this on Ask This Old House. You will be able to do this an hour. First so. thing we're doing is we're fixing those annoying squeaky floors, whether they're carpeted or not. Correct. Nobody likes a squeaky floor unless you're a teenager trying to sneak back into the house, but here's the problem. If the, the sheathing right here, this plywood, is not properly connected to the joists, right. that separation is what moves when you step on it and causes a squeak. Alright, what's the quick fix for that? Screw it back in. But you've got carpet down, so now we've got this contraption, 20 bucks at the home center, comes with a screw that will automatically snap off. So I wanted you to do this actually. Okay. So uh, put the screw right on there. Right. You're going to set this right above the joist, which we've already identified. Put it in and just keep screwing. You can't go too far. Push it all the way down and then that, that's so it. it stops itself. Right. Now that's a problem, right? You're right. going to trip on that. But here you've got a little um, attachment. You're going to actually go into the screw. Okay, get it in there. Right. Wiggle it back and forth, left and right. That's going to snap off. There. All right. Well, now that's not good. Well, that should have gone down. Now, you <laughs> got to put say, a little muscle into it. That's going to hurt. All right, you if can I actually counter set that. That, that will actually go down below the subfloor. Twenty bucks 20 stops bucks. the squeaking. You got it. That's an hour. All right. That is an hour. Now, if we have a day, this is a day. So this is a bookcase right here, and this is kind of cool because we're using steel pipe. It's sort of an industrial look, but for a hundred bucks of wood that you get from maybe sort of an IKEA butcher block, you don't have to do any fancy joints, any fancy joinery. Okay, you can build this. this is going to take me longer than. A day. Come Go on, ahead. with these parts right here. So you take the butcher block, you cut it to the size, all you need is a circular saw and a drill. You're going to put the holes in the four corners, right? right. And you're going to actually put this onto the threaded pipe. Now that's going to slide right through. So take a couple of these couplings right here. Yeah. Here, put a couple of those on, screw it on there. And these couplings are not only going to join pieces of pipe to right. raise this up, but it's going to hold this shelf in place. And so okay. now you can put the second shelf on that, it's going to go right on top. And then the next and then pipe just repeat the repeat. process. No and you problem. can do this for how many, how many shelves Four, could five, you put on six. this? You know, not too high. You don't want to fall What will down. this cost you, this You're project? You're going to buy about $100 worth of wood and maybe $30 worth of pipe. Okay. No now we got a weekend project. We're building a raised garden box. You what kind it. of wood are you using? So we don't want to use pressure treated wood. That's going to hold up great outside. It's going to be good for rot, but it's going to have toxins. So in this case, this is fur. Okay. Two by ten, we've simply screwed it together. These are small starters, you can do this no problem. You can make them as big as you want. And you didn't do any fancy joints, no, you no, just no. went end to end. We would screw them right here into the ends like this. They're going to be perfectly fine. You can control your soil because you can put in great potting soil because it's right. a raised bed. And you can make them as long as you want. I wouldn't make them too wide because remember, you're going to have to weed them. Yeah, exactly you right. Weed, right? And this will hold, it's fur, but this will hold up year after year with the moisture? This is going to be great outside. It will not last forever, it's wood, but it will last a long Long time because it's fur. How much is that going to cost us as a DIY project? Not much at all. You're talking about a hundred bucks most for all the wood and the plants, and you're just going to simply whatever you want. You can put in your vegetables, you can put in your flowers. How do you attach the trellis here? It goes right in the back. We've got a couple screws. It's great for climbers right here. We've got tomatoes, but you can put on any type of vine you want. And you you're bought done that. in a weekend. Great stuff, Kevin. Right. As always, you got it. Good to see My you. Pleasure. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.